I'm really quite close to, I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. Um, you can see this in things like AlphaGo, which went from, in the span of maybe six to nine months, it went from being unable to beat even a reasonably good Go player to then beating the European world champion who was ranked 600, then beating Lisa Dole 4-5, um, who had been world champion for many years, then beating the current world champion, then beating everyone while playing simultaneously. Then, uh, then there was Alpha Zero, uh, which crushed Alpha Go 100 to zero. <laughs> and Alpha Zero just learned by playing itself, and it, it can play basically any game that you put the rules in for. If you, whatever rules you give it, just, you literally read the rules, play the game, and be superhuman for any game. Um, nobody expected that rate of improvement. If you ask those, so, the, those same experts uh, who think AI is not progressing at the rate that I'm saying, I think you will find that their predictions for things like Go and, and other, and, and other uh, AI advancements, have uh, their, their batting average is quite weak. It's not good. Um, the, the, we'll see this also with, uh, with self-driving. Uh, I think probably by end of next year, self-driving will be will encompass essentially all modes of driving and be at least 100 to 200 percent um, safer than a person by the end of next year. We're talking like maybe 18 months from now. Um, uh, NHTSA did a study on on Tesla's autopilot version one, which is relatively primitive and found that it was a 45% reduction in highway accidents. And that's despite Autopilot 1 being just version 1. Um, version 2, I think, will be at least two or three times better. That's the current version that's running right now. Um, so the, the rate of improvement is really dramatic. Uh, we have to figure out some way to ensure that the advent of digital superintelligence is one which is symbiotic with humanity. I think that's the single biggest existential crisis that we face, and the, and the most pressing one of regulation and oversight. I mean, I think once you generally are on the side of minimizing those things, but this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. I'm not really all that worried about the short-term stuff, things that are, um, not, like narrow AI is not a species level risk. Um, it, 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 will, it will result in dislocation, uh, in lost jobs and, um, it, you know, the, the sort of better weaponry and that kind of thing, but it is not a fundamental species level risk, uh, whereas uh, digital superintelligence is. Uh, so it's really all about laying the groundwork to make sure that if, if humanity collectively decides that creating digital superintelligence is the right move, then we should do so very, very carefully. Um, very, very carefully. Um, this is the most important thing that we could possibly do.